Hi guys, it's Mina, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be doing something kind of fun today. Um, this is an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. Um, for this size canvas, you're gonna need about 15 ounces of paint. So I'm gonna show you my colors real quick and then we're gonna layer our cup. This one is Golden's Permanent Deep Violet. My paint is all mixed the same. It's mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. The paint, some water, and then Floetrol. I usually start with two ounces of gloss medium and varnish, an ounce of paint. I mix some water in there. That gives me about three, three and a half ounces. And then I add between eight and 10 ounces of Floetrol to fill up the rest of my cup. This one is Anthroquinone Blue, also from Golden's. Beautiful color. Works really well with the purples. I really like that a lot. Um, I have my DecoArt Americana Satin Enamels. It's gotten a drip of blue in it, but that's okay. It's also mixed with Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. And I have another cup of the white, but it's a lot thinner than that. that I'm going to use for a flow extender. This is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. This one is, ooh, it's almost empty. Oh no. Quinacridone Violet from Golden's. There's hardly any in there. Bums me out. <laughs> this one is Quinacridone Crimson, also from Golden's. And last but not least, we have our Golden's Iridescent Copper. So what I want to do is kind of a fantasy pour on this one. I want to do um, a straight pour around the edges and then the inside of it a ring pour and then we might wreck it. So let's get our cup and layer it. Over there, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna start with some blue. gonna put a little bit of white in and some gold just a little bit but I want a lot and then a bigger chunk of the permanent violet I guess we'll use what I have of my <laughs> okay let's put a little bit of our quinacridone magenta or quinacridone crimson in there Gold, white, blue, a little bit of gold, a little bit of white, permanent violet. Such a pretty color. <laughs> okay. And let's put a little bit of white on top of that. Anthroquinone blue. Okay, I'm going to start putting copper in there too now. Put some of the gold first and then the white. See, I don't want pink, so I don't want to put the white right next to the red. So you put a layer of gold in first as a buffer. Okay, put another layer of our blue. Now we're going to start using the copper because we're getting towards the what's going to be the outside of the pour. And this is the part where I want the copper to be. down just a little bit of the flow extender white to pour into. Hello Gail, you're blowing. Could you stop for a minute? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's see. So we're going to start off with a straight pour and then as I get closer to the bottom of the cup I'm going to do more of a ring pour. 
Okay, so here we go. rotating a little bit and turning, you get some interesting different effects and it opens up the center more. Okay. That's cool. Come back. No traveling yet. Actually, I want to put a little bit of gold around the edge. It's a bit thick, so I'm going to thin it out just a touch. Just a little tiny, like maybe six drops of water. There's not a lot left in here anyway. Okay. We're going to go around the edge of this. this oh should we wreck it I think we should so I don't want to do too many I just want to do a couple but I don't want to go through the parts that I really like okay I think I'm gonna go like that I think I'll just leave it like that and see what happens kind of cool okay here we go Stretch it out first. Pretty that is up there. Let's go, Let's go down this way to that corner. Come back this way. Go down. Still feels like there's a lot of paint on this, so we're just gonna let this kind of go down this way and take some of this off and open this up more. It's had a heart shape there for a minute. A lot of paint in here. I think 
going to take a little bit of this off at the bottom. area on the outside. In order to open that up, we lose some more of this, and I think I like this better. Let's see if I can't get some of that off. It's distracting a little bit anyhow. And I'm sort of going side to side. Because I don't want to lose one big section. I want it to kind of distribute evenly. Bring this back up a bit. Go off that corner a bit. Bring it back down. Take some of that bottom corner off, and then I'm going to bring it back to where it is. Okay. So this part is really just about finding the parts that you like and opening them up and enhancing them and stretching them out so that they're highlighted and then what's around it is just sort of like a background player. I like this. This is really cool. I love how that deep violet is sort of in between the layers up in here. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I love this darker anthraquinone blue with the violet in there. It's very pretty. And I like that white edge that's giving it a lot of depth. This is gorgeous in there. This is very pretty. So there's our heart shape. Ding. <laughs> How do you be? Yeah, like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but this is really pretty. I like that a lot. I like this edge. I love this part with these bigger cells of the violet. Very cool. So this is neat. And that was our wreck. It's cool. I like it. Let's bring it back this way just a little bit. And we are done. That's really cool. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will show you this one when it's dry. And uh, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is a few days later. I love how this one came out. Really, really pretty. That anthraquinone blue is just gorgeous, especially with the quinacridone crimson and the nickel violet is really, really beautiful together. I love that 3D part right there. Just gorgeous. I like how on the sides you can see the quinacridone crimson and the permanent violet. Very pretty. It's a really cool detail. So this was a fantasy pour. It was a straight pour at the beginning and then a ring pour. And then we wrecked it with just one line. And that came out really cool. Created some really beautiful effects through here. Really neat stuff. And there's a beautiful luster to it. If you can see that, yeah, you can see the gold blinging. Very pretty. That's the Liquitex glass medium and varnish. I have not put any additional varnish on it. If I do want to varnish something additionally, lately I've been using spray varnish. I've been using Krylon UV Resistant Archival Spray Gloss. 
which works great. But that's if you think you want it. Sometimes you don't think you need some extra shine. But anyway, I really like this one. I like our little wrecked heart. Very cool. Very symbolic too. And you know, hearts get broken kind of easily. And then they sort of heal themselves and come back together a little more intricately. <laughs> and much more interestingly most of the time. So, this was cool. I really enjoyed this little pour. I hope you guys did too. If you want to check out some more of my stuff, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. You can also check out my Etsy shop, which I will be putting this one up there. I'd appreciate it if you guys could check to make sure you're subscribed. That would be so awesome. You know, give me a thumbs up if you had fun. <laughs> There's also a link in the description box for a PayPal me. If you'd like to be a patron of the arts, I do appreciate it. Hello, kitty cat. There's Ming Ming. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.